I'll be starting with the wire cells first. Hook this up, stick it in the water once again. All these experiments are going to be here in this jar. This is just regular tap water. There is no, I have, I've used nothing for electrolyte. So let me go ahead and get it in the water. Let me pause it and I'll get it in the water and then we'll get it started up. Okay, here it is in the water and let's power it up. It has power right now. It's not extremely impressive. Uh, when I did this cell in my HHO2 video, I did have some electrolyte in the water. But it does work without in just plain water. Let me zoom in a little closer. You can see the production. Okay, there's that one. Let's pause it and get a different cell in the water. Okay, now I'm going to work with the, the stainless steel twisted wire cell. Let's see how this one produces. Once again, I'll pause the video. Let me get it in the water and then we'll power it up. Okay, here it is in the water. Let's give it some power. This one seems to produce a little better with the wires twisted together rather than running them separately. Oops, a little bit too far there. Keep it focused. Look at that. You can tell which wires are the negative ones. Not too bad. After I run all these cells through, we'll do it again, but I'm going to add um, some baking soda into the water as an electrolyte, and I will actually keep that on the video so you can see that I'm doing that, and you'll know what I put in the water. Okay, let's cut this one off, and let's get another cell in the water. Here we have the eight plate. Uh, these are the stainless steel blank wall plate covers. Um, eight plate. Once again, this is a positive-negative, positive-negative configuration. There are no neutrals. Um, stainless steel spaced approximately 3 16 is your spacing between the plates. So let me get this one in the water and let's fire it up. Okay, here we have it in the water, the 8-plate stainless steel cell. Let's give it some power and see what it can do. Pretty impressive. I want to show you something. This is only drawing 2.2 amps. 12 volts. Look at it go. Not too bad. All right, let's pull the power on this one and get another cell in the water. All right, next let's work with our 25 plate stainless steel blank wall cover plates. Once again, uh, material that you can purchase at any hardware store. 25 plate configuration. Positive, neutral, negative, neutral. Positive, neutral, negative, neutral. You got a neutral plate in between each positive, negative. Let's see. Let's get this one in the water and see what it does. Once again, I want to remind you we're using uh, just 
plain tap water at this point. There, is, I, I, I have nothing in the water as an electrolyte. Uh, let's get this one in the water and see what it can do. Okay, we're in the water. Let's give it some power and see what this one does. Pretty impressive. Look at this. We are only pulling 1.8 amps. It's kind of fluctuating a little bit. Once again, pulling 12 volts and we're pulling less amps than the uh, 8 plate cell. Um, this is because of the neutral plates. Let that go. That is really clouding the water. In fact, I'm actually going to lift this up. You've got to see this. Alright, I'm going to shut it down. Let's get another cell in the water. The next cell I'm going to run is the aluminum screen. Let's get this in the water and see what it can do. Okay, we've got the aluminum screen cell in the water and I'm going to give it power right now. This is just aluminum, whereas the other cells are all stainless steel. Not too bad. This one here is pulling 1.4 amps, 12 volt. Not too bad for aluminum. Alright. I still have some work on this style of a cell. I've got some ideas. I just haven't made them. So I'll be experiment experimenting with those later and trying to make a video of those. So, Alright. Time to power this one off and throw in the last cell.